Good morning and thanks for joining us on the Friday edition of TVC Breakfast. Let's bring you the news update at this time. The House of Representatives has rejected a motion seeking the reversal of the federal government's suspension of microblogging site uh, Twitter. Despite this position, the joint committee set up to investigate the Twitter suspension says both sides must embrace an early resolution of the face-up. <laughs> Twitter operations in Nigeria. The committee mandated to probe government's action submits its report for consideration. We immediately commence the investigation of the, to determine the circumstances and decision by the federal government of Nigeria to suspend the operations of the Twitter in Nigeria and the legal authority of the suspension on the operations of the Twitter in Nigeria. A mild drama, however, played out as the deputy speaker, the deputy minority leader, and the speaker disagreed on the and recommendations again, of the committee. What I'm simply saying is that the quality and quantum of work we bring out here should carry all perspectives. I think the reference by NSA, by the, uh, by the chairman, was merely an example. You could have stated clearly, said that when the Nigerian government acted was in line with the social section and their action is in order. He didn't make that statement. It's, in the, it's, 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 it's internet. So it was the, it was the handled delegate, delicately. The balance must be between national security and freedom of speech. And that is what the committee has tried to do from when I read the recommendation. They were not on the side of government. The House agreed that relevant government institutions, such as the NBC and Need Concert, be alive to their responsibilities to avert a future occurrence of the government and Twitter squabble. A motion of urgent national importance called on the federal government to alt every arrangement towards the privatization of the Niger Delta Power Holding. Its sponsor says it is the only remaining generating company wholly owned by government. Public Enterprise recently announced the proposal of five uh, national independent power project assets in Cross River, Edo, Ondo, Ogun, and Kogi states, with the aim of using the proceeds to fund the federal government budget deficits. The committees on power and privatization and commercialization are to jointly investigate the plant sale of the NIPP power plants of the Niger Delta Power Holding and turn in their report in four weeks. Jokayadza, TVC News, Abuja.